from Graphic Extras. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the Threshold Black and White plugin. It's available in the Andrews Plugin Volume 6 set for Photoshop, PSP, 32-bit, uh, I say for Windows 8, Windows 7, etc. Right, the basic functionality of the plugin is to uh, create a, well, you can see from the screen, a cutout of the design there. You can just see the thing. There's numerous settings which you can reduce the cutoff. So I'm just going to quickly click OK at that point. Just cuts out the image. So I'm just going to go back to threshold. 50%. There's other options here. There's various sort of uses, emphasizes the red channel, extreme settings. It creates uh, interesting variants of, and it really depends on the actual cutoff as well as the other settings here. To show various this one's a grain one creates a grainy effect an inverted effect so obviously you've just got the the white so I'm just gonna go the other way it's the other way around right that's the cutoff setting so you, which you can increase obviously just to create a sort of like cartoon sort of sketch basic uh, image again let's go quickly back into the plugin you can add grain to the thing, so there's a black and white noise setting. I'm just zooming a bit there, so you can increase that, reduce that down, so you can, a very faded, just subtle image is left. You can also add the red channel for the noise and green channel. Also, you can limit the black. So, set, so I'm just going to just reset that, so you can see it a bit more clearly. Just extend it out, so basically it goes towards the white. And in this case, goes the other way, so reduces down. So it just bounds the uh, the color settings for the uh, plugin. As with all the plugins from the uh, Graphic Extras range, there's uh, various blend modes. Uh, there's uh, options here. You can uh, see a drop down here. Just go over various things. So you can just see the green. Just goes through those. You can just see the outline still. There, various color modes. Also, you can modify the color, so this this just randomizes these color settings, which you can obviously just manipulate yourself. So I'm just going to click OK at that point, so you can create a interesting uh, sort of unusual color cutouts very quick and easy. Go back into the plugin again, and there's also other options such as effect modes, where you can apply the effect as smear or blur. Also, there's a process post processing. And so once you've got this result, you can actually apply additional settings. So this is actually adding a, a gradient overlay, and you can randomise that. So I'm just going to click through those, and they can be blended in different particular ways. Just going to so on, so on. Anyway, the plugin can be used to create thousands of different designs, color designs. Uh, it can be used in Photoshop Actions as well as Photoshop Scripting. Also can be used as a smart filter, so you can apply it multiple times and modify multiple times during the creative process. Anyway, that's a plugin from the Andrews Plugins Volume 6 set.